Uh, first game of the season, competitive debut. Um, what a good game of football to start. It was a good game, yeah. I thought uh, the main thing for us was just, just simply to win and get three points. Obviously start off the season with a, a good win, but we know as a team we weren't great either, but you have a lot of them games a season where you just have to grind it out, and that's, that's what we did really. Yeah, difficult with a, a Kettering team who'd signed about five players in the last week anyway, so that always disrupts your preparation and one that has blatantly said they want to try and win the league this season. So credit to yourselves, we just played a really good team there. We did, to be fair. I, uh, I actually didn't expect it either, but uh, credit to Kettering. They, they come here and a lot of clubs will come here and will sit back and, and defend, but they, they come here and they cheated. They threw bodies forward and uh, and I thought really going in 2-0 at half-time we were a little bit lucky, but you take it, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we were saying earlier about the difference between uh, friendlies and competitive games and I can now explain a whole lot easier what the difference is with your tackling about the second minute where you, where you did that. Uh, does that suddenly make you think, oh great, the league's definitely started when you when you put in a good tackle like that? Do you know what? It was uh, I was actually chasing a bad touch, <laughs> but um, but no, obviously I, I saw the ball and I thought you always want to you always want to have a good tackle first first minute kind of set you up for the for the game. But uh, that's what I did really. But yeah, it's a completely different game, isn't it, for to pre season? You can prepare as much as you want and play teams higher level, lower level, but when it comes down to it, the first game of season is what all what matters. Really. And I know you played here before, but must be great playing in front of over 1,200 on your first game. Yeah, the fans are, are amazing, to be fair. Obviously, we said in there as well, as we hopefully get get some wins and, and get up the uh, the league, hopefully they'll, they'll keep coming in the numbers as well. I'm sure they'll uh, take a lot Monday night to Redditch. Yeah. Uh, talking of which, your old club, how, um, how does it feel when you're going back so soon? Yeah, I don't mind it. It's uh, it's nice to get it out of the way, really, early doors. It's, uh, it's a tough one, Saturday, Monday, obviously 48 hours rest, but... I know how hard it is on a Monday night there, but I think we can go and win. Yeah, uh, yeah, it should be good. A lot of familiar faces there. Um, is it going to have an impact being a, a plastic pitch? It's, it's even tougher on uh, on the knees and bones, isn't it? It is. It is harder playing on a plastic pitch. I've played there three seasons, and uh, it is hard on your joints. But um, but no, there's a, there's a lot of plastic pitches in this league now, so yeah. you get used to them, don't you? Uh, well, you do, but we hate it as a fan half the time because of that and uh, looking for ball in the front. So, uh, team looked as though it's gelled really well. You had to do some really good defending to keep Kettering and to get the win then. Yeah, we have gelled really well. Obviously, we've had a number of new lads, including myself, uh, for the start of the season. But we all, we all get on well. We, we, we kind of socialise really well. And, uh, and it shows because we're grafting for each other the last 15, 20 minutes and making important challenges in the box, which is what it's all about, really. Yeah. Uh, brilliant, great three points to start. Look forward to uh, the rest of the season with you. Thanks, Ryan.